Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I am going to be completing my next two projects using the evening story kit from Allie Edwards for Story Kit Crush. Now if this is your first time coming across Story Kit Crush the concept is pretty simple. It's uh, just to take one kit off of your shelf that you haven't used yet and do your best to use up the entire thing throughout a single month. This month I am focusing on evening from Allie Edwards, but you are more than welcome to join along with whatever kit that you have available and ready to use. For today, the two stories that I am telling, one of them is my husband's evening routine, and one of them is just about, um, kind of about my daughter's evening routine, or at least how how it goes when we put her to bed, when I put her to bed. So this one over here is going to go into our family story album, which is a six by eight album. And then the story about my daughter is going to go into my daughter's story album, which is also a six by eight album. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put you on fast forward while I get both of these spreads put together. And then once we have everything completed I'll slow back down and we will close out for today. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start today by working on the spread about my husband and really both of these are going to come together really quickly today. Uh, for this one I took part of one of the plastic circles. It's the one that is blue with some star pattern pattern on top and I cut it in half. So half of it I'm going to use here and half of it I'm going to use later on a different spread. Um, I believe maybe next week is when I will put that one together. So for half of it, I stuck it at the bottom of this six by eight photo. I attached it with my tiny attacher and then I'm adding this Buenos Tardes title on top of that. I chose to go with the Spanish version of Goodnight because one of the things that my husband has been doing most evenings, if not all evenings, has been practicing his Spanish using the app Duolingo. So I thought that that just made a lot of sense to use that one there. Then for the right side of this spread, I'm actually going to create my own a three by eight journaling card. So inside of Photoshop, I made a template where I could add my text and then also I have some light gray circles on there that designate where I'm going to place some stickers here in a little bit. Then I took the evening routine journaling card and I chopped off just the title portion and added that to the top of the page. And then I've got some sections from another of the three by four journaling cards. This one was just a really dark blue with white star pattern on top of that. And I trimmed it down into a half inch strip, actually two half inch strips. And so I'm adding one underneath the evening routine title and one at the bottom of the page. I did that because the white of the card, the evening routine card, and the white of my journaling page are not quite the same. So by having that little degree of separation between the two of them, it makes it way less obvious that they are not the same. And plus, I just really like the way that it frames and adds a little bit more blue onto the journaling page as well. So then I'm going to go ahead and take those stickers, the circle stickers, and add them onto the, the journaling page. I also had a chipboard piece that said PM Stories. I originally was going to add it on top of one of these circle stickers and then thought that it might be weird to have, you know, a dimensional piece on just one of them. So then I stuck it on the circle transparency instead. I think it probably would have still been fine to put on the circle stickers and I might have even liked it better there. It probably would have felt a little bit more purposeful, um, but it's okay. I'm, I'm totally okay with the PM stories being on the transparency as well. I went ahead and date stamped right directly on the photo and then that is going to complete spread number one. For spread number two, this is a story going inside of my daughter's story album. And it's going on the back side of, um, of two other stories. So it's going on the back side of a story where there was two three by eight side by side cards or sections. So that's why I am doing a three by eight photo settled next to the two three by four cards. So one I made out of transparency and one was the quote card and the transparency, I went ahead and stuck a, um, chipboard piece right in the middle. Then on the opposite side, the journaling card is going on the back side of a story that I did about my daughter 
And I did it in a square orientation because I wanted to add photos around a center title and I wanted everything to be uh, very t- like all the same the same size so it made sense at the time to do a square and then I just needed something to go on the back of it to finish it so that's where this is coming into play so I printed my journaling on a six by six canvas and then I went ahead and took the journaling card that says sweet dreams I chopped off just the title and added that to the top of my six by six journaling and then I need something to cover up the holes or where this is going to be attached into the album. So I took this stripe card, cut it directly in half, and then what I did is I I uh, chopped off a portion of both of them, or of both sides, I should say, where... Um, where there's the, the full diagonal. So I can stick these together. So even though it's all one card, I can go ahead, stick the pieces together and you will be none the wiser. Um, so, and there's the, the back side of the other one. You can see where, what I'm talking about there. Um, so there we go. We've got my side portion done. I will go ahead and adhere my journaling onto the page. And then I just need to go ahead and hole punch this so that it can go into the album. The first story I should say, I, you know, I told a lot of, of, I told, I talked a lot about the habits that my husband has before he goes to bed at night. And then this one here, I took the chance to talk about some of the structures or routines that Izzy and I have together when I put her to bed. Uh, Aaron and I switch off nights of putting the kids to bed. So when it's her turn for me and her we have a very specific couple of things that we do every time. So that's this one. All right, friends, that finishes my spread for spreads, I should say, for today. I love these ones. They were both fairly quick to put together, simple stories to tell, but I love telling the simple stories and just getting things down on paper. I loved having the opportunity to talk to my husband about his evening routine and, um, finding out about a couple of things that he does that I had no idea. Like I had no idea that he has a, a glass of chocolate milk and a pickle every single night of the week. So that was fun and led to some really interesting conversation. And then I loved the opportunity to talk about putting Izzy to bed and what that routine looks like for us right now. What are the lullabies that she's asking us to sing, the stories that we're reading to her at night? I think that this story will be one that will be really, really special to look back on as she gets older and that nighttime routine changes. So those are my stories for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing both of these come together. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on this video down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the other crafty videos I have coming your way. I'll be back again next week on Friday with my last couple of projects using the evening story kit and uh, I have some other videos throughout the week leading up to that day. If you are participating in Story Kit Crush, don't forget to add the hashtag Story Kit Crush to your posts, especially over on Instagram, so I can be sure to see them when I do my Friday morning read through of all of the all of the stories that were posted in the week prior. That's one of my favorite things to do, and I love getting to know all of you guys better through your storytelling as well. All right, friends. Well, that's going to be it for me for today. Until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your Friday. Enjoy the weekend ahead, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, friends.